What's up guys, Jake here. Today I'm down at the river and today we're gonna be scuba diving at a place called Cup 8 and we're gonna be looking for lost valuables. If you guys are new, Cup 8's probably one of the most dangerous locations to dive in the entire river. It's filled with fishing line. A bunch of animals get wrapped up in this fishing line and even I can potentially get wrapped up in this fishing line if I'm not careful. But the really cool thing about the spot is that it's shaped like a bowl and it's super deep. It's also one of the deepest spots in the river. And if anything gets lost here, it's just gonna stay inside this bowl and I could potentially find that today. But also, on a side note, like it's probably one of the scariest places to dive, not just because of the fishing line, but there's giant catfish in there, man. Now, I'm always like looking down at the ground because I gotta find all the treasure. And out of nowhere, I'll look up and see a giant fish and it just scares me so bad. If you guys want to see another video at Cup 8, drop a thumbs up. And if we can break 50,000 likes, I'll come back out here tomorrow and we'll search for some more treasure. Before we get out there and start diving, I want to let you guys know real quick that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you guys need a domain or a website, you guys can make that happen with Squarespace. So with Squarespace, I was actually able to make my dream website come to life. I made a website called FindMyLostValuables.com. For the longest time, I had this idea in my head where I wanted to have a website where anyone around the whole world could come to me if they lost something. So if you lost an iPhone, a GoPro, a wallet, or anything like that, you can come to me, tell me how you lost it, where you lost it, when you lost it, and I could potentially come out to you and find it for you guys for free. With the tools they had and they provided on their website, it was just super easy to make my website come to life really quickly. It took me about 15, 20 minutes and it looks very professional. So if you guys have a good idea for a website or a domain name, you guys can use my link in the description below. You guys will receive 10% off your first purchase of a domain name or a website. So feel free to check it out. Thank you guys so much from Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's get out there, have a good time, and see if we can find some cool stuff. Oh. 
All right, so I'm gonna start things off with my favorite find of the day, and it definitely has to be this police stun gun right here. So right here on the front, it says police, and I'm gonna turn it over, it says stun gun right here. It doesn't look like it's in working condition anymore, but to find a police stun gun in the river, like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so my second favorite find definitely has to be this fish and lure right here. I think it's actually worth $150. I think this is called a buck -a bull shad, if I'm correct. This lure imitates a shad, and those big fish eat the shad, and this is what those fishermen use to catch those big fish. Speaking of lures, look how big this swim bait is, man. I've never seen one this big before, but I don't think it was originally this big. I think it swelled up underneath the water. You know, when I was a little kid, I used to have those little things that you throw in the bathtub and it sucks up all the water. And this is kind of what these fish and lures do over time. They soak up all the water and they just become giant. But this is definitely the biggest swim bait I've ever found in the river, man. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right here it says 467. And when I saw this, I had no clue what it was. I thought this might've went to something uh, for the old mill that was here like a long time ago but as I look closer to it you can actually open it up and that's when I realized that it was actually a, uh, a compass it's pretty cool right someone told me this was actually a military compass I don't know how true that is but if you guys know what type of compass this is let me know in the comment section below but that'd be cool to find potentially a, a, a military compass I bring toothpaste all the time but I have no idea why this person would have brought toothpaste to the river I bring toothpaste because I put it on my goggles to make the fog go away. This guy must have had to brush his teeth when he was whitewater rafting or something, man. When I opened it up, I thought it was gonna be really nasty and moldy, but as I squeeze, look at that. That's like fresh blue. I could reuse that if I really wanted to. Today I actually found a lot of sinkers, so I could definitely reuse those, or I can give them to some catfishermen in the future. And I also found an old cast net underneath the water as well. I ended up giving that to one of the fishermen over there. What they could do is actually cut all the cast net material off and save the weights, and they can use those weights uh, for fishing weights in the future. But other than that, we had a great day today. We picked up some trash, found some cool lures, and we found a few other nice things as well. If you guys want to see another scuba diving video at this spot, drop a thumbs up, and maybe we'll do another one at Cup Bait very soon. Like I said at the beginning, if we can reach 50,000 likes, I'll come back out here tomorrow. We'll make another Cup Bait video, and maybe we can find some more cool stuff down there.